Hey everyone, it's Heidi and welcome to today's episode of Baby Name Sunday. Today's list is a long awaited collab name list full of about 80 or so modern yet usable Spanish baby names. A lot of you guys have been crying out for this one and there's no one else I feel that is more suited to do this list with me other than my girl Emmy from all the way in Puerto Rico. She is actually another namer over on Instagram as well. She is the source, honestly one of the greatest source of unique Spanish names. Also, after this video, make sure you guys go check us both out over on our Instagrams. We're going to be posting our three favorite names from this list and also pairing it with a middle name combo so you guys can really see these names kind of come to life. And before I start the list, I also did want to mention that these names will be very universal between both English speakers, but obviously Spanish speakers as well. I'll be including both the English and the Spanish pronunciation to the best of my ability alongside these names. So let's get into the name list. All right, first name on the list here, I have the name Ada or Hada, spelled H-A-D-A. -A. Now this one's a direct word name meaning fairy or it means she who follows her destiny. Next up on the boy side, I have the name Rajo, spelled R-A-Y-O. Or in English, you can pronounce it two ways. You can do Rayo or Rayo. And this one's also a direct word name meaning lightning. Then we have the name Poema, spelled P-O-E-M. M A poema and this one is such a stunning name one of my favorites on the list and it means poem we have a spice name here next it's the name canela or canela spelled c-a-n-e-l-a -E and this one is the spanish word for cinnamon next name here on the list is the name adora spelled a-d-o-r-a -A, or adora and this directly means adore we have the name tavo spelled t-a-v-o another really cool short name it's actually a short diminutive of gustavo and it means staff of the Goths. Now, the Goths were actually an Eastern Germanic tribe who emerged from Scandinavia, particularly Sweden. Another boys option here that is so handsome is the name Marzo, spelled M-A-R-Z-O, Marzo, or Marzo. And this one actually means the month of March. So if you're having a boy in the next few weeks here in March, Marzo or Marzo would be so perfect for you. We have the airy name Brisa, or Brisa in English, English, B R I S A, and this one also is a word name, kind of a weather word name, meaning breeze. Then moving back over to the boy side, something a little bit more familiar. I love this one. It's the name Javi, spelled J A V I, Javi. And this one's actually from the name Javier, meaning new house or bright. Another nature name on the girl side is the name Baya spelled B-A-H-I-A, -A, Bahia, or it could be pronounced Bahia in English, and this one means bay. We have a beautiful O name here next. It's the name Ora, spelled O-R-A, Ora, or Ora, and this one means to pray. We're still on the girl side, so another option here is the name Avellana or Avellana, spelled A-V-E-L-L-A-N-A. -L -L -A -A. There is obviously a few ways you could probably pronounce this, Avellana, Avellana, few different options here. And this one is so sweet. It means hazelnut. Back over onto the boy side, keeping up with the nature theme, I have the name Cedro, spelled C-E-D-R-O, or Cedro, and this one directly means cedar. Then onto a beautiful celestial inspired name here, I have the name Estrella, or Estrella, spelled E-S-T-R-E-L-L-A, and this one means star. Number 14 on the list is the name Nube, spelled N-U-B-E, Nube, and this one means cloud. Okay, switching it up here, I actually have two options, one feminine form and one male form. So I have the name Mio for a boy, M-I-O, and this one means mine. Then for a girl, we have Mia, M-I-A. And these ones fall hand in hand. I think they are just so perfect for that short and sweet style name. Now onto a celestial name, but for the boy side, I have the name Marte or Marte, spelled M-A-R-T-E. Now this one here directly means Mars, the planet Mars. Mars. But if you add on an S to Mate, so make it Mates, it means Tuesday. So it could be a really cool day of the week name. Next one here is a very airy feeling name. And literally, it's the name Aire, spelled A-I-R-E. Now in English, you could do kind of two pronunciations here. You can do Airy or Airy, and this one directly means air. I have the name Ayan, spelled I-Y-A-N or 
Julian. And this one's actually a variant of Julian, meaning youthful. Then for a place name on the list, we have the name Havana or Havana, spelled H-A-V-A-N-A. -A -A. And this one's the capital city of Cuba. Moving on to a fruity name next on the list, I have the name Uva spelled U-V-A, uva. And this one means grape, which I thought was just so cute, so sweet. I love the pronunciation of this. It's very short with the U at the beginning, very uncommon. And you can do uva or uva if you really want to for an English pronunciation. So with springtime coming up, this next one here would be absolutely gorgeous for your little girl. It's the name Primavera or Primavera, spelled P-R-I-M-A-V-E-R-A. -E and this one means the spring season. Next name on the list is the name Valle, or in English you could probably pronounce it as Valley or Valle, spelled V-A-L-L-E. And this one's a total nature name meaning valley in Spanish. I have the name Elan or Ilan or Elan in English, I-L-A-N, and this one's a Spanish from Hebrew originated name meaning tree. All right, so to switch it up here on the list, I have the name Tisa or Tiza, so T-I-Z-A. Now this one's also another word name. We have tons of word names on this list. They're kind of cool sounding, and this one means chalk. Then for another day of the week name, we have the name Lunes, spelled L-U-N-E-S, Lunes. And this one means Monday. Moving on to a short A name on the list, we have the name Ave. A-V-E, and this one means bird. Then we had to add a whimsical name here on the list. It's the name Sirena, or Serena, spelled S-I-R-E-N-A, and this name means mermaid. Next up here on the list, this is actually probably one of my favorite new Spanish names. I think it's so pretty. So it's the name Juvia, spelled L-L-U-V-I-A. Now when you put two L's together, it pronounces as a J, so it's Juvia, and this one is also also a weather name meaning rain, Juvia. Super short name here next, still on the girl side, I have the name Faye, spelled F-E, Faye. And this one's actually a Spanish virtue name meaning faith. This next one here has actually a super sweet meaning, and that's the name Dulce, or Delce, spelled D-U-L-C-E, and this one directly means candy. Then a couple more girls' names for moving on over to the boy side. Next one here is the name Solena, spelled S-O-L-E-N-A, Solena, and this one means sunshine. And staying in that celestial sky kind of feel, we have the name Eva Luna, spelled E-V-A-L-U-N-A. -E in English, you could probably pronounce this as Eva Eva Luna or Eva Luna still. And this one's obviously a combo of Eva and Luna, meaning life and the moon. Switching it up over onto the boy side, these next few here are unbelievably handsome. So we have the name Nicandro or Nicandro, and this one's spelled N I C A N D R O, Nicandro. And the meaning of this one is so powerful man of victory. Another option here, similar to Nicandro, is Nicander. Spell N-I-K-A-N-D-E-R, Nicander almost as well. You can pronounce it in English. And this name also has the same meaning, meaning man of victory. And this one's also the Spanish variation of the Greek name Nicandros or Nicandros. So speaking of cool, handsome sounding boy names, we have the name Dante. So D-A-N-T-E, Dante. This one is pronounced in Spanish and English the same. And the Spanish meaning for Dante is of firm character or enduring. Next two names here actually go hand in hand. It's like a boy variation and a girl variation. So we have the name Zafira or Zafira, spelled Z-A-F-I-R-A. -A. It's actually a jewel name meaning blue, directly relating to the sapphire stone. Then for a boy, same exact meaning, it's the name Zafiro, Zafiro, spelled Z-A-F-I-R-O, Zafiro. <sighs> Super, super handsome, very cool with that O ending, and Zafira for a girl. A very bright and vivid name for a little girl is the name Lucena, spelled L-U-C-E-N-A, and this one means illuminating. Then we have the name Tiago, spelled T-H-I-G-A-O, Tiago. In English, you could either do Tiago or you can do Tiago. It means God will reward us, but it's also a nickname for Santiago. And Santiago is a surname. It's also a city in Chile, but it's also a patron saint of Spain. Next up on the list here is the name Marbella or Marbella, spelled M-A-R-B-E-L-L-A, Marbella. This one literally translates into beautiful sea 
and it's also another place name. It's a place name in Spain. We have the name Arma or Arma, spelled A-R-M-A, -A, and this one means weapon. We thought this one in particular for a girl, it's just like a little girl who's just gonna run the world. Very daring, very bold, very brave for a little girl. Another sweet option here on the list, staying on the girl side, is the name Cereza or Cereza, spelled C-E-R-E-Z-A, -E Cereza. And this one means cherry. Then switching it up over onto the boy side, we have the name Lienzo, spelled L-I-E-N-Z-O. Nickname Enzo. This is such a great modern option. And this one's also a word name meaning canvas or linen. A stunning Spanish floral name on the list here is the name Azucena. Azucena, spelled A-Z-U-C-E-N-A. -E it could be in English pronounced Azucena with that stronger Z. And this one is the Spanish word for lily. Continuing on with the floral names here, we have the name Aleli, spelled A-L-H-E-L-I. Aleli. So this one is also a word for a certain flower name. I'm gonna try and pronounce this. Maciola Incana. An edgy sounding name here on the boy side is the name Casador or Casader or Casader. So there's a couple of different English pronunciations. Super cool, Casador. I love it in Spanish. And this one is actually the Spanish word for hunter. All right here, okay, moving on. Girl's side here, I have the name Amada. Spelled A-M-A-D-A, -A -A, Amada. Or or Amada, and this one means loved. Then we have a short boy's name here, ending in O. It's the name Davo, spelled D-A-V-O, Davo. And this one's actually the Spanish nickname form of David, meaning beloved. So Amada and Davo could be perfect sibling names. Another place name on the list here is the name Sonora. Spelled S O N O R A, Sonora or Sonora. And this one's a Mexican state name. Another S name here, more surname inspired, is the name Sans. Spelled S A N Z, Sans. So this one's a Spanish surname meaning holy. And this one could be a really great Spanish alternative to Sean. All right, then we're gonna add another place name here next on the list. It's the name Veracruz or Veracruz, spelled V-E-R-A-C-R-U-Z. So much great nickname potential, Vera Cruz for a girl. So it's a city in Mexico and it means true cross. Next we have the name Marena or Marena, spelled M-A-R-E-N-A, -E Marena. And this one's a Spanish name combining two words, sand and the sea. And together this name means of the sea. All right, time for a little bit of a vintage flair name here. So we have the name Eloisa or Eloisa in English, Eloisa, E-L-O-I-S-A. Very, very beautiful. And this one has such a great meaning. It means vast and healthy. Another girl's option here before I move on over to the boy side, I have the name Marie V, spelled M-A-R-I-V-I, Marie V. And in English, you can pronounce this as Mary V. And this one's a Spanish name with a fusion of both Maria and Victoria. Next up on the list, we have the name Isai, spelled E. S-A-I, and this one means gift. Then we have the name Asa, spelled E-I-Z-A. This one here is just oh, Asa for a girl. How gorgeous. This one's a name of both Arabic and Spanish origins, meaning powerful. So for a little girl, Asa. This is it. Another fruit name here on the list is the name Mora, spelled M-O-R-A, or Mora. It means blackberry. Then we have the name Isel. Spell I Z E L or Isel, and this one means delicate and unique with a definite unique name. All right, so next two names here are both V names for a girl, a little bit more lengthier, which is so sweet. So it's the name Valencia, spelled V A L E N C I A, Valencia. Nickname maybe Valen or Sia for a girl. So this name directly means brave and strong, but it is a type of orange. Also, it is the third largest city in Spain. So you have place name, a food name, but it also has great qualities of brave and strong. Then very similar, we have the name Valenciana, spelled V-A-L-E-N-C-I-A-N-A. -A -A. Now again, another more lengthier name, Valenciana. Very gorgeous, and this name means brave. Next up, we have the name Calida or Kalida, spelled C-A-L-I-D-A. -A. This one, you can have that nickname Cali, and it's a cozy Spanish word name meaning warm or warmth. So this next one here is Izan, 
spelled I-Z-A-N. You can do Izan or Izan for this pronunciation. There's quite a few different ways, and it's a name of Spanish from Hebrew origins, meaning strong, firm, constant, and long living. Okay, so we had Izan. So this next one is Izander. So it has a D-E-R or Izander or Isander. It's a Spanish variation of Alexander, but this name also can vary in pronunciation all throughout Spanish speaking countries. So a couple more boys names here, then moving on over to the girl side, we have the name Matias, spelled M-A-T-I-A-S. And this one means gift of God. Then we have the name Leon or Leon, spelled L-E-O-N. And this one's an animal inspired name, obviously meaning lion. You can have that nickname Leo. Another option here is the name Ines, spelled I-N-E-Z, Ines. This is a great example. A lot of Zs, they more so pronounce it as like an S, whereas in English, some people might pronounce this as like Ines. And this one means pure. Super cool boy's name here next on the list is the name Toro or Toro, spelled T-O-R-O. -O. And this one's also another animal inspired name, but meaning bull. And then this next one here on the boy side could totally work with Ines. So this is the name Sencio, spelled S-E-N-C-I-O. Sencio means harmless and innocent. Place name here next on the list, one of my absolute favorites is the name Madrid or Madrid, spelled M-A-D-R-I-D. So this one is the capital city of Spain. Then we have the name Baez spelled B-A-E-Z. And this one actually doesn't have really too much of a meaning. The meaning is kind of unknown, but it is quite a famous surname. All right, we're almost getting down the list here. A few more here left on the list. So I have the name Alarico or Alarico. So A-L-A-R-I-C-O. So this one's a variation of the name Alaric, which I love the meaning so handsome it's all powerful ruler for a boy oh so dreamy then speaking of a names on the girl side i have the name aroa or aroa spelled a-r-o-a and this one means era or time another girl's name here next on the list surname inspired is the name olivera or Oliveira, spelled o-l-i-v-e-r-a love this i love it has an alternative to olivia olive and there's actually not really a direct meaning of this one but it probably has some associations to like olive or olive tree then speaking of nature berries olives we have the name baya spelled b-a-y-a baya and this one means berry in spanish baya so sweet boy's name here next is the name romero or Romero, spelled R-O-M-E-R-O. -E now this one's actually a boy's herb name, directly meaning rosemary. Keeping up with the spices, but on the girl side, I have the name Asafran, or Azafran, spelled A-Z-A-F-R-A-N. This one is so cool. You can have the nickname Aza, or even Fran or Franny, if you want like a vintage flair. And this one means saffron. We have the name Avila, spelled A-V-I-L-A, -A, Avila. This one's a city in Spain, but it's also used as a Spanish surname. Then we have the name Anis, spelled A-N-I-S, Anis. This could also in English be maybe pronounced as Anis. So it means star Anis or star Anis, which is a very fragrant spice often used during kind of the holiday season. Next up, we have the name Luan, spelled L-U-A-N. This one's pronounced in English the exact same way, Luan. And this one both means fighter, but it also means moon. So a really great celestial name. Then for a Another spice name here on the list, on the boy side, we have the name Coriandro or Coriandro. This one's a variant of coriander. So it's spelled C-O-R-I-A-N-D-R-O. -R and this one's an obvious herb name known as cilantro. Last boy's name on the list before a couple girls' names, I have the name Bardem. Spelled B-A-R-D-E-M, Bardem. This is the surname of the famous actor Javier Bardem. Then I have the name Lima, spelled L-I-M-A, Lima. This one is so cute sounding, Lima. It sounds so peppy, it makes me smile. This one's both a place name and a food name. So it's the capital city of Peru. And as for food, it's actually the name for a lime. Lima. Then that brings me to my very final name on this collab list. So it's the name Zima or Sima. Spell X-E-M-A. Another great option for an X girl name. And this one means precious stone. So 
absolutely precious for a little girl. That is it with the list, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. Thank you, Emmy, so much for being a part of this. This was so much fun. Leave down in the comments below what your absolute favorite was. Make sure to go check us out over on our Instagrams because we are going to be posting right now our top three favorite names from this list, my favorite three, and also Emmy's favorite three, and then a middle name combo so you guys can really see these modern yet usable Spanish names kind of in the works as like a full name. Love you guys all so much. Take care. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. Bye.